welcome back to my channel this particular question i can know i will have to draw it with you so that you actually understand the drawing now if this is a square not drawn to scale a square of side two units okay so this side is two units as well now we have a quarter circle from here to here with center here okay so let me try to draw the quarter circle okay so here we have a quarter circle of center here and you can see that from here to here is its radius meaning that it has a radius of two units which is equal to the side of the square now similarly we have another quarter circle coming from here to there so permit me to draw it again this particular quarter circle has its center at this point so we have wow i tried right <laughs> okay let's continue now this is the question we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion which is this place and this place so let's shed so we are asked to find the area of this shaded portion now permit me to add more information to this diagram this is a this is b this is c and this is d okay now let's call their meeting point zero amazing now the first thing that you need to do is first let us join point a to point o using a straight line now i don't know how to do that it's not going to be straight but you have to manage me okay now i'll try let me join this point to this point Okay, now this line AO, okay, is equal to the radius of this particular first quadrant. Now, just imagine that you have deleted everything in this diagram except this. All right, see what I'm talking about. This particular one, okay. Now, this is the line AO. Remember that from the center of this quadrant, okay, to the part of the circumference is the radius so it means that ao is the radius of this particular quadrant that means it's also equal to what two now similarly let us join from b to this center o okay if we do that we are going to have this Whew, just try and understand okay all right now by doing that you will also notice that ob is also the radius now let me explain why it is the radius remember that we have this okay and this is b this is our o let's call this our o so if you join this to this you're actually coming from the center of this particular quadrant to its circumference so it's also a radius and its radius is what two so now we have a an equilateral triangle of sides two 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 okay please subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us okay give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing at your convenience please always check on us by god's grace we must have something new for you to watch okay Thank you so much so now we have two things here we have a sector a o b but before that triangle a o b is an equilateral triangle is an equilateral triangle this implies that angle a is equal to angle O, is equal to angle angle B, which is equal to 60 degrees. All right? So we have 60 degrees here. We have 60 degrees here. And we have 60 degrees there. Okay. 
Now, we also have sector A, O, B. Sector A, O, B. Look at it here. From here, together with this curve, to that side. So we have something like this. That is sector A, O, B. This is point A. This is 60 degrees. Okay. Now we have this straight line, which is our B, O. But we don't need it. All right. So this is sector A, O, B. Now we need to find the area. A to B is 2. All right. This to this place is also 2. But what is important here is the angle. Now area of sector A, O, B is going to be the angle, which is theta. In this case, is what? 360. Sorry, 60. The theta is 60, right? Divided by 360, which is the sum of what? Angle in a circle. Multiplied by pi r squared. The area of the circle. So this will give us, this will remove this. 6 will divide itself 1. If we divide this 6, we have 6. So this will be equal to 1 over 6 multiplied by pi. Now our r is what? 2 squared. Now if we solve further, we have that the area of sector A, O, B will be equal to, this is 1 over 6 pi multiplied by 4. 2 squared is 4. Now, if we solve this, we have that area of sector A or B is equal to 2. We divide this to give us 2. Divide this to give us 3. So we have 2 pi over 3. Very important. Okay? This is very important. Area of sector A or B is equal to 2 pi over 3. So permit me to clean everything and write it here. All right. So we have area of sector A or B is equal to 2 pi over 3. All right. Now, let us look at this triangle. Triangle A, B, O or A, O, B is an equilateral triangle, right? So area of triangle A, O, B Area of triangle AOB is equal to root 3 over 4A squared. That is because this is an equilateral triangle. And as a result of that, this is the area. Whereby A is the side of the triangle. So that means that this is equal to square root of 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 2 squared. So this will be square root of 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 4. So before we remove 4, we have root 3 as the area of triangle AOB. So area of triangle AOB is equal to root 3. All right. Now, I want you to notice something that we have this. We have this, right? We have this and we have this. So we have, this is A, this is O, and this is B. So we have this portion, which is here. All right? If we call that portion X1, you can see that we will get X1 by subtracting the area of this triangle from the area of the sector, right? So our X1 will be, Area of sector AOB minus area of triangle AOB. So to get the area of this portion, which is this place, will be equal to area of sector AOB is 2 pi over 3. 2 pi over 3 minus area of the triangle AOB gave us root 3. Now, this is another important equation. So, I'm going to clean this and write it on top. 
of this place. So we have our x1. This is our x1. Okay. So our x1 is equal to 2 pi over 3 minus root 3. All right. Now, solving for that. Remember that this place, see what I'm talking about? This is a square, right? So the whole of this is 90 degrees. But we have this, okay? And we have already taken part of it. This part of it is 60, meaning that this remaining part is 30. So from here to here now is 30, okay? And if you look at that, we have another um what is it called another sector there so we have another sector this particular sector i'm seeing there this one okay so this is what we have there yeah this is o this is b and this is c and here is 30 degrees okay so we need to get the area of this sector now, area of this sector, remember, area of sector O, B, C will be equal to the theta, which is what? 30 divided by 360 multiplied by pi R squared. So, if we solve further, we will have that the area will be equal to, this will remove this, 3 divide itself 1, divide 36, we have 12. So we have 1 over 12 multiplied by pi, multiplied by our radius is what? 2, 2 squared. So our area will be 1 over 12 multiplied by pi, multiplied by 4. Okay, so we have area is 4, we divide this to give us 3, pi over 3. So we have area of sector OBC is pi over 3. So we are going to write that here. So area of sector OBC is equal to pi over 3. I'm looking for all this because remember we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion. Okay, now if we say let the shaded portion be x2, you can see that x2, to get x2, you subtract the area of sector O, B, C, and your x1, right? So x2, which is the shaded portion, all right, is equal to area of O, B, C, area of O, B, C, minus your x1 minus x1. So x2 is equal to area of OBC is pi over 3 minus uh, x1 is equal to 2 pi over 3 minus root 3. Okay? So if we solve for that, we have x2 is pi over 3 minus then Let's remove the brackets now. Minus times this is minus 2 pi over 3. Minus times minus is plus, and we have root 3. So we have x2 is equal to, they have the same denominator, so we can copy the numerator the way it is, okay? Plus root 3. Now, if we solve for that, we will have that x2 is equal to, x uh, pi minus 2 pi is minus pi minus pi over 3 plus root 3 now remember that we have this here and here and they are symmetrical so they are equal therefore the area of the shaded portion area of the shaded portion now so area of the shaded portion will be equal to 2 multiplied by minus pi over 3 plus root 3, which we can write as 2 multiplied by, we'll write root 3 first, 
then minus pi over 3 in unit squared. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.